Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From The Cauldron and here I have 100 grams of Superwash Merino in DK and I'm just going to play with a couple of new to me dyes. Here I've got Hyacinth, Mermaid's Dream and Blue Violet from Dharma. Now Hyacinth is an acid dye, Blue Violet and Mermaid Dream are fiber reactive dyes. Now both of these will work on um, protein based fibres such as Superwash Merino. The, the fibre reactive dyes will also work on cotton based uh, fibres, linen, sort of plant -based, based fibres, whereas the acid dye won't. So all I'm going to do now, this has been pre-soaking in some, just some pl uh, plain tap water for a, a while. Now I have got a second skein of 100% Superwash Merino, 100 grams that I'm going to use to wipe my fingers on because I'm going to get a pinch of dye. This is hyacinth and I'm just going to sprinkle. I'm going to do a sort of uh, low immersion based dye, I think. Uh, I'm going to sprinkle some powders on and then um, add a bit of water, add some heat and just see where it all takes me. Let's go to Mermaid's Dream now they all look quite dark when i sprinkle them like this okay wipe my fingers on this you can see here we've got mermaid stream up here and that one was hyacinth that is a gorgeous gorgeous blue now, i am wearing a mask and gloves so I don't want to introduce any moisture into this and I think I need to change my gloves yeah there was a hole <laughs> take note don't try and put gloves on while your hands are still a little bit damp it is very very difficult uh, there we go gloved up and I'm gonna go in with the last one which is blue violet I'm not going to necessarily keep all these colours in those places. I just really wanted to see what they look like on their own, speckled. So this is the Mermaid's, Mermaid's Dream. That's gorgeous there. And we've got the Hyacinth, which seems to be you know, just sitting there, not really spreading out much at the moment. I am wondering, maybe I should add another colour to this. Uh, hmm. Basically, right, I'm going to add, first of all, some water. This is just from the pre-soak. Yes. All over. I'm going to add one. Two, three, four, five, six teaspoons of vinegar. It's going to be a lovely blue. I'm just going to turn the heat on now. I think I'll just let this heat up now. Let the the dye absorb to the yarn and yeah see where see where the yarn takes us it's been on for maybe 10 minutes or so there's a lot of blue violet still there but these ones mostly I'm not too worried I'm going to flip it see It's warm. Yeah. Oh, it looks pretty good actually. Uh, I'm just going to speckle all over now. I did grab some sea glass because I think this might look really, really lovely with this. So 
or we may not even see it. I don't know. So I'm just going to sprinkle it on everywhere. Not really any particular amount. Just, I'll just go with it. some more I'm just going to leave this for maybe 10 minutes try and get some of the uh, try, try and let as much of the dye absorb to the yarn and I think I might have another hole in my glove <laughs> it's been uh, some time I haven't actually been paying attention but it looks like this mostly has cleared i'm going to flip this again oh yeah see if there's any patches that i have missed but it doesn't look like it uh oh, this this is hot very hot yarn ouch uh i might add a little bit more of the sea glass just so it's not uh too uh, one-sided but I'm thinking this looks gorgeous and just making sure so it's around the ties up here that there is plenty of dye we don't I don't particularly want any white patches I would like it all uh, all covered going to add a little bit more mermaid stream and hyacinth I don't think it needs any more blue violet that one seems to be quite a potent one I love this gorgeous mermaid stream it is absolutely beautiful Press this down a little bit, work it through the yarn. Just layering on the colours, making it, hoping this will give it lots of nice depth. leave this for five ten minutes see how long it takes to absorb it's not actually been too long at all but I think this is probably done so let me give it one more flip but I think I am pretty happy with how this this looks um, yeah, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. So, what I'm going to do now is just shift that over a little bit. Um, I don't have anything I can properly steam this in, so I've got here is the uh skein of yarn I was just using to wipe my fingers on now this needs to be heat set as well and as I haven't got a steamer I'm just going to plop it in here uh, need to add some more water add some more water make this a nice immersion oops there we go now, I don't mind if there's any colour transfer between the two uh, a little bit more and then I'm just going to let this come up to just below a boil and then let it simmer for maybe 15-20 minutes just to let all the all the dye really absorb and bind to the yarn 
Okay, this yam has been cooking for about 20 minutes, half an hour, and it looks like all of the dye has absorbed into the yarn. So I'm going to just turn this off and let this yarn cool down completely. Then I can wash it and hang it out to dry. Okay, so this yarn is completely cool now. There we go. No dye. So now I'm just gonna give this a little rinse through. Just some cold water. You can't see any dye running off there. I'm gonna add a little bit of washing up liquid just to try and remove any any excess dye or anything that's quite bound to the yarn. There's a lot of blues in this. I'm not seeing any dye run off at all, which is fabulous. So I'm just going to rinse this through a couple of times and then hang it out to dry. And here are the two finished skeins of yarn. This one was the one that I dyed in the pan and this was the one uh, that I wiped my fingers on. You can still see they've got the big sort of patch of blue violet up there, the hyacinth over here and the um, mermaid's tail, mermaid's, I keep calling it mermaid's tail, it's mermaid's dream uh, over this side but all the colours are running all the way through you can see and I did speckle uh, sea glass on this which goes all the way through there's some lovely sort of specks you can see here but what I really like I'm not sure if it's the sea glass or the mermaid's tail but you can see we've got nice broken speckles we've got yellow some dark blues and that's sort of all the way through and I may oh over here as well see it's absolutely stunning I love love that I love how these um dyes break like that and it's quite similar with this one as well uh, it's a bit paler there are some white patches but that's okay and again because I rub my fingers on this you can see there's more sort of speckles in this one I'd say overall um, but I again I think these are gorgeous I mean they could you could use them together in a project maybe alternate skeins every couple of rows because they are different but they are certainly uh, ones you could use together oh that's a nice patch of yellow too I'm so happy with how this has turned out Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please click like and subscribe to my channel. I aim to produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday. I like to experiment with different dyes and fibres and techniques. So in every video, there will be something slightly different. Thank you so much for watching.